Ian Smith, before we look forward to Carlisle, let's just look back at the last, last seven days. Two massive wins for you. Yeah, huge. I think um, going off the last few games before that, we needed two wins. We knew that ourselves. We knew it for the fans. But um, yeah, we uh, scraped through Tuesday. But um, I thought we played really well. I thought we created a lot of chances in the second half. Peppered them, really. But yeah, finally got that, that goal we deserved. I was going to say, Tuesday felt like, because of the way the match went, the way the goal came, when the goal came, it felt huge. Yeah, I think um, the boys like reflected on it after, just saw a relief, really. I think um, we needed it. I think it was always coming, but when, obviously, the keeper makes three or four worldies, you think, is it going to be our day? But um, we held on and, yeah, Reedy scored a great goal, great finish. Well, it just, just helps lift the mood. I mean, it's not that the mood's been down in the dumps or anything, but it just gives that little bit of spark going into the final few games of the season. Yeah, 100%. I think even though we went for a little bit of a blip, but the boys stayed positive. Um, the whole backroom staff stayed positive. I think we all looked after each other in that situation. Um, but yeah, like you said, a win like that and two wins in the bounce, especially at home. We know our home form's really good. Uh, just give us that added bit of confidence. You yourself, you've come into the team after sort of injury and, and what have you. Um, How's things gone from a personal point of view? Yeah, personally, I've um, come in, I thought I've done, thought I've done well, but Luf has been excellent. I know that myself. Um, it's been a hard one to sit there and watch, but I've been patient. And uh, I thought, unfortunately, Luf got injured, but he's back now, and uh, I've took my chance, and hopefully, um, we keep going. But it's the competition for places, I mean, that, that pushes you both on to play well. And if that's happening across the squad, then you're going to, the club as a whole is going to do well. Yeah, 100%. I think you need that. You need that bit of a pressure on you but um, I get on with Luke really well like, we're really good mates and um, yeah, I think you, everyone needs that bit of competition just to get a bit of extra yardage out of each other Well the boss said a, a couple of weeks ago he said he'd been in for just a little chat and he said the only reason you're not playing is because Luth has been in such good form but if you are patient and you have been then you do get your chance don't you? Yeah 100% I think I'm the honest person I know Luth has been excellent he's been a tremendous really probably one of our best players this season but I just knew as soon as I get a chance, I need to take it. So that was it. Overall, I mean, this is your first sort of taste of um, Football League. How's it gone this year? Yeah, I loved it. I think the boys have been excellent, especially coming up from the league above as a league below. You don't really know what to expect or what the difference is. But I think I've handled myself well. The boys have been excellent. Gaff has been excellent. I think you just need that. I need to test myself, really. I'm glad I have. Exactly. What's the main thing that you've learned about yourself over the course of the season? Um... I think to be patient. I didn't think I was very patient, to be fair, but I think that's it. Uh, just believe in yourself, I think, as well, especially when you're not playing, sometimes your confidence is down, etc. But um, to believe in yourself when you get the chance, you, you've got to take it. Uh, now, now we'll look forward. And it, I, I mean, to be honest, I was looking at Carlisle and I wasn't looking too much past it, but the next three games, Carlisle away, Salford home, Northampton away, they've got another huge games in the course of the season. Yeah, massive. Um, I think we've put ourselves in good stead the last getting two wins in the bounce. We can go to Carlisle and uh, give give a performance that we know we can we can give. Hopefully, nick a point, win the game. We we go there to win the game. We know we know that. But um, yeah, the next three games are, are big. Well, you've got very fond memories of the game down here earlier with, with a goal and an assist. Mm -hmm. It would settle for just a, an assist, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that a hundred percent. But I think, yeah, I think next next game is the biggest game. I think that's in everyone's season. No matter who you're playing, next game is always the biggest one. You're still there, and you've said the confidence has never waned. It's, it's still always been high. You must be still confident that automatic promotion is well within your grasp. Yeah, of course. I think even we were confident. Coming into pre-season, we knew what we had in this team, uh, the ability we had. I know, if you're looking back, Stevenage, we've, we've not been in and around it at all, really, for the last few years. But this year, I think that added a bit of confidence, a bit of fresh air into the group. I think, um, yeah, that confidence is still growing.